Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Germany is being systematically degraded and subjugated by the owners and controllers of global financialized capital. Now, I've been talking about this for quite some time. I was talking about this since at least the start of the war in Ukraine, if not before. Germany, uh, Germany's leaders, who are nothing but collaborators uh, with the owners and controllers of global financialized capital and who act on the promise of benefit. They're hoping that uh, they will be remembered and rewarded by the owners and controllers of global financialized capital, that they'll be rewarded for uh, cooperating with the sabotage of their country. Now, these leaders have placed their country, have placed Germany, have placed their economy uh, into a trap that tightens the more you struggle until it finally chokes you to death. None of the reasons that these leaders have presented to their public uh, as justifications for why uh, they're doing this to Germany, none of these reasons have any substance. Whether it's uh, because they say it's necessary, uh, a necessary sacrifice to weaken Russia, or uh, a necessary sacrifice for the sake of the environment and to you know, combat climate change or anything like that, whatever else they want to say as a sales pitch, None of this has any substance and none of this has anything to do with what's really going on and with why this is happening. They say that they want to stop their dependence on Russia uh, for energy, but they've closed all of their nuclear power plants and they've just shifted their energy dependence to more expensive sources like the U.S. and the uh, Khalij. They say that they want to uh, avoid or to eliminate carbon emissions and to promote green energy. But they are importing uh, the dirtiest form of energy that there is, coal, to compensate for the shortages that they themselves are causing for themselves. And of course, these shortages and these increases in energy costs are wreaking catastrophic consequences on businesses in Germany, on the cost of living and the quality of life, and they're suffocating the economy. Manufacturing has been plummeting in Germany month on month for uh, over a year now. Bankruptcies are skyrocketing. Business closures, especially for small and medium-sized businesses, are hitting record numbers. They are importing coal from Colombia, where miners are treated like animals, as disposable human beings, getting sick, getting injured, dying for the sake of Germany, or rather for the sake of the uh, owners and controllers of global financialized capital and their profiteering from the sabotage of Germany, from the subjugation of Germany. And take note of the fact uh, that Germany is uh, in the process of tearing down uh, one of their biggest wind farms because they say that there is coal underneath that land and they want to start uh, mining that coal uh, instead of relying on windmills for their energy. Now, think about that. That's going to mean that German coal miners are going to learn what it feels like to be Colombian. Because anytime the uh, owners and controllers of global financialized capital onshore labor that they have been offshoring, when they bring back to their own countries uh, services and labor that they have been outsourcing, they don't want to see costs increase for them. They don't want to see labor costs increase. They don't want to see a decrease in productivity. That's going to mean that they want that German mine to replicate the conditions of mines in Colombia. Trust me, in 10 years, there won't even be a Green Party in Germany. Environmental concerns won't even be mentioned in public discourse in Germany. Because all this talk about the environment, all this talk about climate change, that's particularly hyperbolic in Germany, that only exists uh, for the purposes of justifying this program of destabilization, this program of deindustrialization, this program of subjugation. Once that program has progressed uh, sufficiently, once that program has uh, advance sufficiently and Germany becomes uh, a completely subject nation, there will be no need to talk about the environment anymore. You won't need uh, the Green Party and the fanatical uh, environmentalists anymore to uh, terrify the public about climate change, to get them to accept uh, these insane conditions that are being justified on the basis of the environment and green energy and the Green New Deal and so on. Once that program has been uh, implemented and enforced to a sufficient degree, you won't need those justifications anymore and they'll go away and they'll come up with something else. They want to degrade Germany. They want to deindustrialize Germany. They want to humiliate Germany. 
and they're trying to see just how much the German people are willing to bear it. In my opinion, uh, the ideal optimal outcome uh, of this experiment in humiliation for the uh, owners and controllers of global financialized capital would be for the far right uh, to come to power in Germany and for Germany to exit the EU and to uh, resume their ties with Russia. Then they'll be able to treat Germany as an open enemy with uh, aggressive hostility and potentially they could even go to war again. The New York Times just reported uh, that Germany uh, supposedly is considering opening secret negotiations with Russia about Ukraine. Now whether this is true or not, the New York Times wants you to think it is true. They want you to believe that. That is uh, implanting doubts and suspicions about Germany and about Germany's intentions and about Germany's uh, reliability as a team player in Europe. So just watch, you're going to see more of that. The media is helping to direct the whole trajectory of this project. There are headlines proclaiming that Germany is the sick man of Europe. This is an attack on German pride. This is psychological warfare playing out in the headlines of mainstream media. Germany is the sick man of Europe for no reason. Not because it was made sick. Not because uh, it was injected with a virus that caused cascading economic collapse. And let's not mention the fact in the mainstream media, let's just avoid talking about the fact that if Germany is sick, uh, then that means that Europe is on its deathbed. Germany is the economic heart of Europe. And if that heart stops beating, Europe dies. No matter how much America would like you to believe it, no matter how much America would like Poland to believe it about itself, Poland is not going to be able to act as a pacemaker to keep Europe alive. If EU countries are laughing at Germany now, then that laughter is just a prelude to weeping. As I've said many times, uh, the West allowed a parallel power structure in the private sector uh, to grow and metastasize until it uh, surpassed and usurped and commandeered state power. And this private sector power structure uh, is not loyal to any nation. The owners and controllers of global financialized capital are their own nation, and only the national interests of this nation matter. It's a floating empire, unfixed to any geographic borders, and they view everyone as disposable serfs and slaves, whether they live in the global north or in the global south, and they will happily cannibalize their own populations without the slightest hesitation, and that's what they're doing. You know, in some parts of Europe, in the old days, they used to actually throw old people off cliffs if they became too feeble, if they became too weak uh, to contribute, they would throw them off of a cliff if they felt that they had become a burden or that they had become obsolete in some way. Well, that's essentially what they're doing now. They're throwing you off a cliff. Workers, small businesses, the lower class, the middle class, they're throwing you off a cliff because you have no function for them anymore. I'm telling you, there's cultural and civilizational continuity in what's happening. There's continuity in this brutal disregard uh, for what are deemed by them to be uh, superfluous populations. You did not maintain replacement levels, replacement rates for the workers and the consumers that are needed by the owners and controllers of global financialized capital. And so you are now disqualified from the right to a decent life. That's why I keep saying that the West never evolved. They never civilized. They're just as cruel and as ruthless as they were 2000 years ago. They're just as barbaric. They just became more sophisticated about being primitive. Jazakumullahu khairan wa assalamu alaikum.